So for me, legacy is a very big thing, and it's it's a conversation that a lot of business people are having. It basically is tied into what value does a business add to society? You know, gone are the days of just. Um, extracting profit from people and communities. People want to know what your contribution is, how you are uplifting. So broken legacies are definitely something I believe we as black South Africans need to talk about more a lot, you know. In my case, when it comes to diamonds, I've got, you know, both a maternal and a paternal influence. On the paternal side, my dad was, you know, in his heydays, uh, one of the biggest diamond dealers in and around Kimberley and had made friends with many influential business people across South Africa, um, across the business spectrum, um, including Lesotho and places like Swaziland. But on my maternal side, I believe this is where the story more deeply touches me. My great grandfather, Daniel Lowe was his name. May soul rest in peace. He was actually, you know, he, he, he operated within the diamond mining space. That was during apartheid days. So he had his own machinery, he had his own equipment. He was based in a place called Gongong. It's a small town just outside of Kimberley and it actually apparently got its name from the sound that the waterfall makes as the water clangs you know, down. And he lived there, was also a subsistence farmer, had, had things like goats. But what happened was he mined in places like Neutgedacht and Winter's Rush. And I know some of my other family maternally as well mined in places like Waldex Plant. So due to forced removals, um, he did lose his house, but also inheritance within black families is also a conversation that we need to have. Due to certain family inheriting certain things, a lot of what he had in terms of equipment and machinery was sold off or was used and was concentrated within certain hands. And unfortunately that has not been sustained and that legacy therefore was broken. Another interesting story about me is that my grandmother picked up a diamond when she was playing with other children. Um, my my great-grandfather had, after sorting, he seemed to have missed a diamond. So while my gran was playing, and they do say women have a better eye for not only spotting diamonds, but at color determination. So she actually sp spotted this diamond amongst the rubble, and she brought it to her dad, my great-grandfather, and he managed to buy things like a bucky and other bits of equipment. So it must have been quite uh, a high-value diamond. So based on my, my, my research, which I started at age 11, I think this is the story that has always stuck with me. And the more I went into the industry, I believed then that there was a huge spiritual part attached to it. And that I believe then that I am a custodian of something very, very important.